everybody, it's me again, and welcome to a brand new playthrough on the channel. We are here with What Remains of Edith Finch. I was gonna record more FNAF VR today, but for reasons, um, I still need to test out some things because I've moved my VR back into my room instead of being out in the living room because the echo was bothering the crap out of me. Hello. I'm not done with my intro yet. Why does she have a cast on her hand? Okay, I'll do that in just a second, bruh. I'm still talking about stuff. But, uh, yeah, so I need to test out some more stuff for FNAF VR in here, in my room. Uh, and also my sister is currently stuck in the airport, and I wanted to be able to text her back periodically without missing her texts or anything. Um, which I would definitely do if I were in a VR headset, completely ignoring the world around me. So if I pause periodically to text or look at my phone, that's why I'm making sure she doesn't die of boredom. And yeah, I've heard this game is short, and other than that, I know absolutely nothing about it. I know I know the name, I've heard it said periodically throughout the years, I know a lot of YouTubers have covered it, but I have no idea what this game is. I don't know if it's a scary game, I don't know if it's like a everybody's gone to the rapture type game, I hope not, because that game was boring. Uh, and yeah, so here we go. What remains of Edith Finch? Trigger is that button. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning, with the house. That's a weird, like, Baba Yaga type house. Oh, I didn't read the last bit of it. Oh! Oh, wow. Ooh, it's very cinematic. Okay, hold on. Mmm. A Lannister always pays her debts. <laughs> oh my goodness, I walk slow. Okay, so I'm assuming this is like a, you know. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. I'm betting this is like a visual storytelling type thing, where not a whole lot of action or gameplay elements, you know, just kind of walk your way through a story. I've heard good things about this game. I had heard mixed things about Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, but it was free a couple of years ago. Uh, and I was just kind of like, okay, whatever, I'll give it a shot and see what's going on. And, oh my god, I beat it, but it was boring, as all get out, so. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Well, obviously that didn't happen if they were seven years old. I, I gotta get used to the control scheme here. The newspaper box is stuffed. God, to have to come all the way out here for the mail... That's, like, my place. <laughs> Out in the country, you have communal mailboxes like you do at apartment complexes and stuff because the houses are so far apart because of all the acreage on the properties. So, yeah, this is actually closer to the house, maybe. Probably not, actually, but close. <laughs> I hadn't been back <laughs> to the distance. my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm learning the controls. No trespassing. This property is protected by video surveillance. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Froggy! But yeah, so I have to In drive way, to get my mail. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Ugh, I got a fly on my head. It's 96 degrees outside today, so summer is coping. It sucks. But, uh, uh, so am I Edith? Or is there another, is my mother Edith? Oh, so which way do I want to go? Do I want to go down here? I don't know which way to go, but I guess I'll go this way. Oh, this reminds me of a horror game from ages ago called The Cursed Forest. I watched Markiplier play that ages ago. It was pretty good. At least for the time. <laughs> it was pretty good. So there's a lot of, uh, is this Lupin? It looks like Lupin. I have a funny story involving Lupin. I don't remember what class it was for, but it was for one of my older sister's classes. How about you don't do that, okay? And, uh, she was supposed to bring in, like, a sample of Lupin for something. And we had a lot of nature trails by our house where we used to live. So the truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. 
You sound young when you but inherited now I a house. Lucky about you. my family that only the house knew the answers to. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, so me and her both took our bikes when I still rode bikes. <laughs> and, uh, oh god, there she is. Um, I'll get that in a sec. And, uh, so we were just driving along the nature trails, and we were going for a few minutes, and we hadn't seen anything, and so I asked her, I was like, so, tell me, what does Lupin look like? And immediately she goes, that! And screeches the tires, and I almost ran into her, because I was behind her. And it was, like, just the most perfect comedic timing ever, and it's still one of my favorite stories. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. Mm, well, thanks as if for they're that allowed out. to say something, but never do. Yeah, so, like, every time now somebody says Lupin or I see something that looks like Lupin in a video game or anything, I just think of that <laughs> screech. So, sorry, I gotta text her back. Because, that's the other thing. I don't know if this game has multiple endings. I, I know nothing about this game. I just know that it was huge amongst YouTubers when it first came out, and it just kind of passed me by. I was playing other stuff. But I've also heard it short. Like, I can beat this game in two to three hours. So, I figured, since I can't play FNAF VR, um, I'm just gonna hop into this. You guys probably won't see this, at least until after Odyssey is done. But, uh, yeah, I I'm recording this. Actually, I should do that right now. Part 31, I think, of Assassin's Creed Odyssey goes up, uh, today. So, th to date this. I don't know when I'm putting this up, but it's definitely not anytime soon from, uh, June 4th. I'm hearing a lot of stuff like move around and shit, but I haven't seen anything yet. Oh, that looks like a mouth. What is that? The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. So you, this place is real? What the heck, bro? What is this place? This place is creepy. I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. Right? It just lives in the pond outside. Don't be scared. Oh, it murdered my husband, by the way. <laughs> it's a good thing to tell a six-year-old. So what it, did this place used to be like in amusement attraction? Or did somebody just take a few too many creative liberties when building this house? Ugh. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. It makes me uncomfortable, and I just got here. Ugh, this place is creepy. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Ugh. Well, don't say it like that. Now I'm afraid of the house. <laughs> so she's 17! And something happened, she she left, hasn't been to the house in ages, something happened to the rest of her family, and she's inherited it, and now she's coming back after who knows how many years, seven, probably. Um. Oh. I guess I got in through the doggy door. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was eleven. I'm sure. So six years-ish has gone by. Okay since she's been here. So is Edie, Edie is Edith, obviously, is that, and it killed her husband, is it her mom, her stepmom? Except it said the Finches, so this is the family house, so I would assume my last name is Finch, too. For the first time in years. You expect me to open the door to finish that line? Because I kind of don't want to. January of 2010, is that how long it's been since this game came out? Holy shit, and I'm just now playing it. I felt like I was home. Oh, well that's good, I guess. Is this gonna be kind of like transference? Where, like, you have free reign over a house and you have to, like, solve puzzles to figure out what happened to but the family? But the family, there were just memories of one. Oh, Edith and Edie are- okay. So, Edith is not Edie. They're two different people. Don and Lewis. Lewis is dead. Don Finch, Edith Finch, and Edie Finch. 
In loving memory, December 27th, ugh, two days after Christmas, 1988 to November 21st. Oh, that's when he was born. Just kidding. November 21st, 2010. Beloved brother to Edith, son of Dawn. So Dawn is the mom. Great grandson to Edie. Edie's the grandmother. So I'm Edith. Interesting. Man, I gotta say, if this game is anywhere near 10 years old, it looks great still. Like, it, it, it's... Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. I love Chinese food, though. Like, love it. Well, I mean, you know, America's version of it. <laughs> I don't think I've had real Chinese food ever, but... Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. You got sick of eating your cat, Molly? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I understand that. This game holds up graphically over time. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Oh, so you all left? Why? It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Hmm. So Edie was the grandma. Looks like she was on, ooh, she was on oxygen and in a wheelchair. So what, did they just all die? I guess that's part of the mystery, right? I gotta figure out what happened to the family. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Hmm. Well, she's obviously not around anymore. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. That's creepy. <laughs> or James Holtower on Jeopardy. Oh man, that's a that's quite a view. There's a creepy statue out there. I might want to go see that. But wow. Reminds me of the Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. The house sank? Well, that was a cool effect. <laughs> I liked that. Reminds me of the view that I get in Bass Lake when I pet sit. There's also something out there. Is that just like particle effects in the air? Or was that something like, hey, you can hit a button here. My God, there's no walking room in this living room. I can't. Ooh, I can zoom in on stuff. That's creepy. So maybe I should, uh... I don't know. Get the view? I don't know. There's something in the water. Mm, I don't like this game already. You can't do that to me, bro. Like, Barbara. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara along with the rest of the house. Who is Barbara? So your great-grandpa Sven Finch built this freaky as shit house. Okay. Elaine Schick's appeal is a myth like the Yeti or his North American cousin, the Sasko... I was in the middle of a joke. Thank you. <laughs> Twas not to be. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement. So I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Well, I want to go in the basement. I mean, I don't want to go in the basement. I've played too much Dead by Daylight and horror games in general to know I shouldn't go in the basement. I feel like this should be a VR game. This would be perfect for VR. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. You have another brother named Milton who went missing. Since October 23rd, 2003? My god. Yeah, he's probably dead. <laughs> Date of birth, May 19th, 1992. That's close to my birthday. May 3rd, 1994. Last seen in... Oh, I can't read that. Washington. Something Washington. Orcas Island, Washington? He was only 11. 
So we have Edie, Dawn. Edie's the grandmother. Dawn is the mother. Milton and Lewis were my brothers. And then there's me. I'm assuming I'm the youngest. He was 11 in 2003, so he's definitely older than A me. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Can I look? I want to play in the popcorn. No. Oh my god, what is this elaborate door bullshit? What is this? It's all. It's like sealed with way too much glue. What is going on? You know, there's probably less wasteful ways to seal up a door than all that glue. How many horses had to die so you could seal up that door? After Just Mountain disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Eh. Your grandma in a wheelchair and on oxygen drilled peep. What the? Okay, you know what? So are these the? Oh shit! Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with, if she hadn't died in 1947. So who's Molly? Your, like, great-grandma? Or your great-great-grandma? Or your great-great-great-grandma? I don't know. God, this house has been in the family for a long time. Oh, and she was only ten when she died. Ugh. Scorpions. Luckily, the scorpions at my place don't get that big. It's like, I don't even think they get half that big. Sting still hurt like a motherfucker, but, yeah, it's not, uh... Sven and Edie. This is both of their rooms. Knock it off, you know, okay. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Hmm. Can I back out now? God. Were you there before? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. God, there's a lot of pictures in this house. Why do you even bother painting the walls? We got all these pictures up. I didn't check the peephole of this door, so I'm going back down to check real quick. Oh, shit. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. That's terrifying! Why would she tell you that? I did warn you that playing your music so loud would wake the dead. It's a huge stove! Six burners! Jealous! I want that stove. What about you? Gregory? Who the hell's Gregory? Oh my god, your family's too large! I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. So when these people died... They just, like, sealed the rooms as they were, like, in memory. Gregory really liked pink. Oh, my God. Which is fine, I suppose. 1976 to 77. He was only an infant. Oh, oops. I thought I had to hit a button to do that. I just gotta walk up to the door. Okay, fine. I've never seen purple underwear before, Calvin. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. It's written all over your underwear. <laughs> so they literally split it down the middle. The blue side was uh, Calvin's and the orange was Sam's. That's You guys had too much time on your hands to paint murals on all these doors. Like, even I don't have that much spare time. <laughs> Seriously, though. Like... I've had people in the past, because it's kind of hard to get through to the bigger channels that have all these notifications constantly popping up. It's easy for one comment or several to get buried under so many more. So people have been asking me as a smaller channel, like, hey, I'm thinking about starting a YouTube gaming channel. What's, what's some advice that you're willing to give me? And I always give them the same advice. Editing will take up your entire life, depending on how often you want to upload. But editing takes so long. It also depends on your editing style. But, I mean, for every hour 
of footage I record, it takes me at least two hours to edit through it. Like, so if I record like two or three hours of what remains of Edith Finch, it's going to take me six or seven hours to edit through all of it. So yeah, it takes a long time, you know, like the recording and, you know, being perky and the camera and stuff and doing what I'm doing right now. That's the fun, easier part. But it's what everything that happens afterward, like in between capturing the footage and putting it up on YouTube. Ugh, it takes so long. It just kind of just, it literally becomes part of your life. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. She was a child star. Bill Button as Bigfoot. So, that's what that picture was. My friend Bigfoot. Who's scurrying? I mean, it's been a while since this house has been occupied, so there's probably rats and raccoons everywhere, but... Secrets of the stove. Pacific Coast seafood. The pleasures of Japanese cooking. Cosmic cuisine. Witch's kitchen. A lot of cookbooks. Can I have some? I bet this has aged nicely. Oh. Well, hold on, let me check this. Okay, so this was Barbara's. Are you Sven? Katie's father, Odin, built the original house. Odin? Well, that's a fancy, awesome name. I call bullshit. You still have both your eyes. And you don't have... Is it two ravens and two wolf companions? That's a thing. I know that. These people... Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. I want to see what's in there that's glowing. Creepy. All these people died so young. She was only... Quick math. What's <laughs> for Okay, hold on. 64 would be 20, so minus 4. Yeah, she was only 16. That is 16, right? Quick math is not my strong suit. <laughs> I hate math. Okay. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. So, break it open. I see this. Where does this go? Oh. oh. Okay. I guess I can't do anything about that. How do I get to the third floor if the stairs are blocked? I think I've explored... Oh, no. I, I haven't explored the creepy ocean room. Take me by the hand. Take I spent a lot there. of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Great Uncle Walter. I think my fisherman. mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Why wouldn't she seal this one up? She sealed all the others up. This family's weird. Two four. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Are there secret passages? Hmm, Jules Verne. Good read. I don't know if it's a good read. I've never read it, but... Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. What? I'm, I'm pulling. Oh. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Your mom was afraid of something? Couldn't you have told me that, like, before I got in this house? Oh, sh- oh. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Was your brother Milton a bit crazy? So how old was Milton when he died? I forget. Too many dates. What is this? Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But you didn't. Jump rope! One of my favorite things but to I do. I had no also. idea what was behind that door. Oh, this is um. Oh God. Just like I had Edie's no room? idea where all this was gonna lead. Oh no, it's not Edie's room. What? What is this? Orca's Island Calves. Orca's Island was the last place that Milton, uh, was, yeah, you, you, I mean, you know what I'm getting at. I can't talk. I'm trying to absorb all this information, and I'm not processing it through my brain. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here. Appropriately, in a way Before that makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. 1937 to 1980. Yeah, she was only 10. 
December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. Oh. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Oh, wow. Oh, I like this already. This is cool. This non-linear storytelling. I love it. My Halloween candy was all gone. When the handwriting changes. Oh, this is cool. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Ew! What? Did I just eat... I ate rodent food. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, this is weird. This family's weird. December 1947. So this was the year I died. The end of the year I died. Am I gonna see this poor little girl's death? 